All right, everyone, thank you for coming on tonight. Uh, Colonel Len asked me to cover some of the uh, informational items for the continual compliance program that Nevada Wing has had and is continuing to develop. Uh, and so uh, if we have any issues, I might have to mute your mic, but so far uh, I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed. Uh, well, just a quick background, what is continual compliance? Well, it's simple, it's just securing the records that we should be collecting anyways at the squadron level for the SUI, at the wing level for the, C, the CI and the SAVs. Uh, it, we used to have continuity binders, uh, as most of you remember, and our process has been pretty successful. You take a look at the 2015 National Staff College, uh, we were one of the exemplars, so it has worked. Uh, it's making sure that we're doing our job without discrepancies. I'm gonna hit that in a second, but that old President Reagan Axiom, trust but verify, Air Force, Civil Air Patrol, and the wing are all looking for us to, to do this. At the end of the day, this is reality. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing for the wing moving forward. We have for the last couple of years. The region uh, is going to be looking at this in January and potentially embracing some of this. If anything that the dodo bird has taught us, it is adapt or die. I think this wing has done a really good job adapting to this reality and, and trying to make this work as well as possible. I even have some evidence. Let's take a look at the discrepancies by wing in this region. If you look up here, uh, I know we have different sizes of wings, uh, but quite frankly, it still doesn't account for the number of discrepancies in each of those wings. You'll notice Nevada uh, significantly smaller. And three of those seven was due to a uh, wing officer who uh, just dropped the ball and is no longer a wing officer. So uh, in reality, we should have only had four, most of which uh, were closed actually during the CI that weekend. So Nevada wing is getting it done every day. This is the process for continual compliance. Just like before, the wing commander, they, they delegate responsibility to each of us as staff officers. We have jobs we have to get done, not only at the wing, but we need to help those squadron members uh, that are doing our job at the unit level, uh, advise, mentoring. Uh, the wing staff will then fulfill that role. And we need to make sure that we are regularly updating the worksheets that we have to download, I'll get to that, and the evidence that shows uh, that we're actually completing those mission critical objectives. Uh, and of course, assisting the units when requested. You guys are gonna discover that as wing staff officers, uh, in many ways you are acting as a compliance officer for the units. Uh, and I wanna be clear on this, this is important. When we get to the compliance officer, myself as the wing compliance officer, and as you as wing staff fulfilling the role of compliance officer, uh, we are reviewing what was uploaded into the IG system. We are suggesting alterations, improvements, okay? but at no point are we enforcement. Okay? We can give suggestions. After that, you know, we, 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 we wanna make sure that we are, uh, you know, I don't want to use the FAA joke a whole lot, but you know, I'm, I'm the compliance officer and I'm here to help. That is really my goal. Uh, for the wing staff, of course, once the compliance officer at the wing level has made the suggestions, the wing staff would then make those changes and report back. Let me or the wing commander, vice commander, chief of staff know uh, changes have been made. And then when requested by the units, and please keep that in mind, when requested by the units, they are providing that same service to the units. So they're gonna go through and they're gonna look at those specific worksheets that uh, as wing personnel officer, if the unit personnel officer wants me to look at some stuff, happy to do it. Maybe as wing administration officer, they want me to look at uh, their uh, uh, file plans. Well, as director of administration, I'd be happy to do that. So uh, obviously wing officers, first thing you need to do, everyone needs to do is download the current worksheet from national headquarters, the inspector general website, and we need to fill it out. Here's an example from the aerospace education, one of those missions that uh, tends to fall between the cracks. Simple and easy, as long as you understand how to read it. Let's break it down a bit. That top section is to be completed by the inspectors. We don't fill that out. It's not our job to fill out the benchmarks, commendables, things like that. Below that, we complete that, including mission and staffing notes. Now, the inspection team will also make comments on the mission and staffing notes, but uh, that is something that we can add. You'll notice that there is a yes, no, or not applicable section. 
We need to exactly answer that, Y, N, or N, A. And then it's really broken down, let me back up here. Uh, it's broken down to what is the specific question? How does the wing verify that we're doing our job? And if we didn't do our job, it says exactly how we need to fix it. And there's actually two ways that we deal with that. The most important thing, and this is what tends to happen a lot, people wanna fill out that note section. They get in the habit of thinking, this is something where we justify what we've done. If you need to justify or explain a program, a decision, uh, anything that's going on, that would be done on separate documentation. And that would actually be done uh, with the naming convention right there. So A1, Q01, and then you might provide documentation. The inspection team makes comments there, we don't. So that's just a quick and dirty system of understanding it. I'm going to email out this guide showing this page. So if it was a little fast, please feel free, go back, take a look at it, uh, easy to refer to. There's also something that the IG at National has provided. There is an actual knowledge base specific to those questions. So if you're having any difficulty addressing questions beforehand or trying to deal with discrepancies afterhand, that is exactly where you go to. Uh, and that'll be in the guide as well as uh, just very easy to reference. So for cadet programs, if you had an issue on an SUI and you don't know exactly how to answer or prove how the required staff training is done, it tells you exactly what to do. It tells you where to go, how to clear that discrepancy quick and easy process. Uh, any questions on this, what we've covered so far and just generally downloading worksheets? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and continue then. So as I said, you're gonna download that worksheet. Now this is different than in the past. In the past, we used to use uh, Dropbox and you guys would insert all of your items into the specific Dropbox folders. At some point, when it was close to the inspection, uh, the person, usually the chief of staff, myself at the time, would upload everything. We would be responsible. That's not gonna happen anymore. Because of the way that the region wants to try this new system, uploads are now entirely the responsibility of the staff officer. So as Colonel Lynn gets requests for fundraising, she's going to use that naming convention, she's going to upload it, she's good to go. Uh, any changes that you need to do, and I'm gonna model that in just a second, you need to save to your computer, make the changes, save it again and upload it. I know it's not as easy as Dropbox, but the national system only works that way. There's nothing else I can do in order to make that workable. Uh, so please keep that in mind. And like I said, I'll show that in just a minute. Uh, and then it's important that you remind your squadron counterparts this, you know, that support mechanism that wing staff is supposed to provide. When we're asked to review their data, we may have to mentor them. And GoToMeeting is a great way to do that. We can set it up so that you can create a GoToMeeting with your counterparts and go over questions uh, and issues that maybe they have. So it is a dual responsibility, not only to do the wing stuff, but to assist the, the squadron counterparts. Very simple. You've been in e-services before. Uh, there is a simple page just like this. Let me log in using mine. Okay. For Inspector General, uh, the vast majority of us are going to have these two items right here. Okay. So you could go, frankly, either way. If you go into the survey audit reports, just like I did right here, there's a little option here called documentation. Click documentation. It's going to want to know what is this for an SUI, in which case we would select a squadron. Perhaps it's a, uh, you know, the, for our version, the CI, the wing. And at that point, we will... Uh, uh, have no problem getting in there. Now you notice it's showing you everything. And when I uploaded it a couple of years ago, there were 1,100 files that I had to get up here. It was a huge list. So instead of getting worried about that, you will notice there's another drop down area. Oh, look, Aerospace Ed. Uh, in fact, let me go into uh, Personnel. I can narrow it to the specific field or the, the mission that I'm responsible for doing. Very simple. Uh, you can see right here, I've got my worksheet. Downloading it, you can see down here, when I clicked view file, it automatically went into my downloads of my computer. And there we go, I've got some basic information right here. 
If I want to change something, let's say, oh shoot, that's not yes anymore, it's no. Simply doing that process will not save the information. Because of the way the national system is, when you finish uploading it, or uh, downloading it, pardon me, and, and changing it, save it to your desktop or wherever. And as sometimes difficult as it seems, let me get all this out of the way, you will have to then re-upload it into the system. So let's go back to where I was earlier. I want to add document, I want to do uh, choose file, go back to that desktop. I know it seems a little like one or two extra steps than, than you would like to do, but unfortunately, this is still an internet system that is still kind of like 1.5, 1.0. It is not truly interactive. Add documentation file, it says, yeah, are you sure you want to upload this specific worksheet? You'll also notice that it tells you which type of files you can upload. And there's a huge variety. Most of us will use PDF, document. We would use uh, Excel spreadsheets, maybe a PowerPoint. There are limitations to the file size. If you run into an issue, let me know. I have software that can shrink the size of that. Do I want to upload the documentation? I hit yes. Give it a second. You'll see down here it's telling me that it's uploading. And you will notice it's good to go. Okay, so I've, I've got the system up. I've got it updated. Or I could simply come over here and I could click delete file. So there are options right there in order for me to, to navigate that. A couple of the things I want to mention. If you go back to uh, – try that again. Okay, There's a series of reports you could certainly – View, if you want, you can go in and pre view previous reports and previous assessment data. Squadrons can, can go back and view previous assessment data. There's a whole lot of options in this system. I don't want to get too bogged down because oftentimes when we do that, um, it can be a little overwhelming and then people, people get a little nervous. So, uh, again, I can't say this enough. The most important thing, you need to download that worksheet. Any changes you do have to be downloaded made the changes, the entries, and then re-upload it. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but this is something we want to get we want to get in the habit of, and that is that that concept of document, document, document. This is an easy job if you stay on top of the data collection. I use Dropbox still. I use an online storage. And every time I'll get an email, so I asked Colonel Lynn recently, uh, ma'am, have you actually gone through, reviewed the units, the membership listing? Are there any units that you have concerns about? So she went through, she did the review, um, I would imagine, with her staff and sent a quick reminder or an email back to me saying, I've reviewed all the units. Uh, everyone is in compliance, membership size wise. Uh, I have you know, no need in order to make modifications to the charters. As soon as I got that email, I saved it via PDF. I threw it on my Dropbox. When I had time later, I uploaded it. If you stay on top of this now, it makes it so much easier. And I'm sure as uh, 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 Steve Schlieper would tell you, holy moly, document, document, document. If you can do it, you will save yourself a lot of grief later. Uh, I'm going to review it at least three times a year. Now, I say at least. I'm going to review it in the late fall. That would be during my fall break. I'm a teacher. I'm going to review it over the winter during my three-week holiday break, and then in March and April, and you can guess that's during spring break. So three times a year, I'm going to be reviewing it. Why am I not reviewing it in the summer? It's not that I wouldn't do it, but let's face it. Most of the time we do this, the inspections are in May, so that carries us for a couple of months beyond that. We just want to make sure, though, that at least three, maybe four times a year, I'm going in just taking a quick look, seeing where we're at. I'm, I'm not going to go through it with a fine-tooth comb. I'm not there to try to embarrass or to critique. I do want to make sure, though, that we are getting the job done. This is not an IG function. I want to make sure that everyone's clear this is separate. But there are few people in the wing that have a better understanding of the inspection process than Steve. There are very few. So there's going to be a lot of times where myself or someone else is bumping into an issue, we have a question, that is the ideal resource to go to. And so he is going to be a part of this as we go forward. But I just want to be clear, this is not an IG. Uh, I am not, again, into enforcement. That is not my job. 
if I have a situation where I've told a staff officer, hey, you are lacking some stuff here, you haven't uploaded your worksheet there, and it doesn't get done, it's not my job to enforce. That will be other individuals, the wing commander, vice commander, chief of staff. And so please keep that in mind. Uh, and we talk about that continual compliance. Not only are you doing the wing job, I want to go back to that. You're going to go when requested by squadrons. Would you please look at such and such documentation, such and such worksheet? Uh, we're asking you in a timely manner to do that exact same thing. It's a great way for you to fulfill not only uh, that mentoring, but it's also a great way for you to understand what are some training and some future needs that we as a wing need to address, uh, as well as looking for your replacement, because I, I, we all really enjoy the program, but at some point we're going to want to move on and do other things. So please keep that in mind. Any questions so far? In education, we call that wait time. I'm, I'm sure Colonel Lynn is very proud of me right now. All right. This is what I have as of tonight. This is still very easily fixable. This is very fixable. This is There's no need to panic right now. Uh, but we do have uh, very few people that have uploaded the worksheets. And I'm going to send this reminder out via email. Uh, again, not to embarrass people, but you know, people really do need to get going on getting the worksheets up. And some of these items that will need to be uploaded should already get done. Now, I want to point out when I'm looking at this, I'm not looking for each and everything. So, for example, some things will not be uploaded. I mean, for Inspector General, there may be adverse action reports we don't want up there. So not every question will actually have documentation. There are other circumstances, such as for supply, where you're not going to be able to up, or you're, there's not going to be a need to upload every little thing, simply because eServices has a report. Now, I still recommend you do it. Some of the documentation says, please provide a snapshot, but other documentation uh, doesn't require that. So please keep in mind that this is it's going to be very specific to your needs as a staff officer, uh, and what we're asking everyone to do. Uh, by really, we need it by mid-January, if well, frankly, early January. Uh, everyone should have had that worksheet uploaded with basic answers. If you haven't had a lot of time for the evidence, okay, we can work over the next couple of months. I know the holiday season is a bear in order to try to get compliance, and, and we understand family comes first. Having said that, Doing your worksheet should take 10 to 15 minutes. It's not that much to upload it. Just as importantly, uh, it lets us know, do we need to work one-on-one -on -one with anyone? So uh, as I said, this is current as of tonight. Let's talk about some suggestions. Uh, there are ways to view previous CI and SUI comments from other units, other wings. You can view what other units have, have run into in terms of problems. You can view what they're doing that has been successful, especially those commendables. Uh, there's a very simple process, and you'll notice when you get this presentation, a lot of these are already linked up. Uh, it, it shouldn't be, I mean, I could view every wing in this nation. If I want to view what California wing is doing right, uh, that's not a problem. You'll notice I go to the organization. Give it a second. And here we go. We've got options for the last couple of CIs. I want to view their last CI. Sounds fine to me. Or I could view their last SAV. This report does a very good job not only of listing all of the discrepancies, commendables, benchmarks, things like that, but it does have a good narrative. It's brief, but it does have a good narrative of what is going right, what is going wrong, how did they do. So please take a look at that. Be clear as to what the staff is looking for when the inspection team comes in. Any questions on this so far? Okay. Uh, online storage. You don't have to use Dropbox. There's Google Drive. There's OneDrive. But I cannot emphasize this enough. Computers die. If you put all of your evidence and you keep a copy of the worksheet that you're updating, if you keep that online, it allows you to quickly store those items for later upload. It allows you to edit them. I can be sitting in the back of an aircraft flying to Las Vegas, 
editing all of my stuff so that when I land, all I have to do is upload. I don't have to constantly upload and download, upload and download. I can modify it, and then maybe once a week, once a month, once a quarter, I can upload those changes. Please keep in mind, though, there are limitations to this. Dropbox, for example, the free account has a limited file size. So if you have a lot of personal items, a lot of people tend to put photographs. Their phone tends to automatically download to Dropbox. That'll fill up your Dropbox account very quickly. So please be aware of that. Some of you will have internet problems that maybe ISPs are not able to uh, uh, accommodate Dropbox. Uh, it could be a situation where you've got antivirus that, uh, or a firewall that's, that's blocking its uh, full connectivity. So it's not perfect, but I highly suggest you do it. It's not a requirement. Uh, if you want to get a folder like we did in the past uh, through the Wing account, let me know. Uh, or you can let uh, Rich Hazeltine know as the chief of staff and uh, we can certainly address your needs right there. Commendables. This was something that we were at the very tip of seeing this change during our last CI. In the past, commendables could be qualitative. Hey, this is a great program you've created, Nevada Wing. We really love it. That's no longer the case. There is a very specific criteria they're looking for in commendables. They want effective processes that the wing has developed, that they've put over a sufficient period of time, so a week, a two weeks, a month, that's not going to cut it. They want to be able to not only meet those mission requirements, but to exceed them. So we're looking for not just qualitative, there better be quantitative measurements. The best way, money. Hey, perhaps it's saving time. It's got to have something that we can measure. It's got to have that. If you can provide that, we can write it up, we can get it as a commendable, we can get credit. Now you're wondering, why do you care? Why do we care about commendables? Very simple. You're gonna notice that we're having a hard time in this nation being able, as, as a CAP program, being able to get mission money for simple flying. It's not because the Air Force doesn't care. It's because number one, the Air Force doesn't have the money from Congress. There's a lot of issues going on there. When the Air Force gets that money, they're allocating it to where they see their needs are. They're also allocating it, just like any other government organization, based on how effective that organization is in meeting the needs. This may not be a direct line to getting more money, but you can darn well bet this is weighing on the Air Force. If they have constant issues with Civil Air Patrol, why on earth would they be willing to immediately snap to and try to get us the funding we need? This is a way for us to improve our situation as CAP members, as well as to give that value added that the, the Air Force and the nation is looking for. Like I said, it was going to be a simple, easy briefing. I'll be more than happy to take any questions you guys have. Uh, I do want to say thanks, Shile, for putting that together. And I know that you are going to post that. And I am sending an email to the wing staff people who are not on this call and were not at the other training. So um, we're gonna, I'm gonna ask them to reach out to you to um, get access to this it's because I need to follow up on who is and is not jumping into this okay but um so those of you who are on the call i uh, i obviously the ones who have been doing a really good job are the ones on the call um but guys i really appreciate the work and the hours that you put into this and um let's try to encourage the rest of our wing staff to get involved with it so I'm sending that email now, Shile, so hopefully you'll get a phone call in a day or two. Great. Uh, Shile, this is Deb. Uh, thanks for taking the time to put this together. I've heard from a couple people on wing staff that, um, Joey, stop. that um, say they have their stuff ready, they just didn't know what to do with it, how to upload it. So this will be perfect for those guys. Um, but thank you for taking the time to put this together. Um, I think it'll be a great help. Great. Where will we be able to access this presentation? 
what I'm going to do, I'm obviously going to send out some electronic, like a PDF and this presentation. I'll email that out to you. But the video stuff that I've just done, I'm going to load up on YouTube and I'm going to send a link. So when it all goes out, you're going to have all of the items. Oh, and you'll notice that Steve is saying, uh, anyone who has questions, he's a great resource. I mean, if anyone knows inspections uh, and uh, understanding regulations, uh, you'd be hard pressed to find someone that knows more than him. So uh, make sure to use him as a resource as well. But yeah, this will all be coming out uh, tonight. I will make sure that it's uh, ready to go when in everyone's inbox as of tomorrow morning. Cool. All righty. Well, I want to, again, thank everyone so much for taking your uh, time. I know the holiday season is absolutely tough in order to, to you know, take just a little bit of time. But uh, if you have not uploaded the stuff, I'm going to ask you, if nothing else, just do the worksheet. <clears throat> Let's get the worksheet up. We'll worry about the documentation in January, February, and March. And we'll just, uh, we'll, you know, as they say, Nevada wing every day. And I appreciate your efforts tonight. Any final comments? Uh, Thanks for this you This is perfect. Shadow, can you send me a copy of that, um, your chart? Sure, no problem. That's going to be one of the things that everyone will get. I'll make sure. Or do you want me to exclude that when I send it to everyone? Um, yeah, exclude that. You got it. I will exclude that one. I'll send the other stuff. Okay, thanks. No problem. Uh, Y'all have a good evening. Thanks again, Bye -bye. Sean. No problem. Bye, y'all.